I'm joined by Bex Riley. She's the owner and founder of a boho boutique, Tosca and Salome. Great to have you here, Bex. Thanks for having me. Really, really nice. Now, you've got a very interesting journey into fashion, haven't you? So it started in Spain? It did. Um, I was living over there at the time because my husband's job had moved us over there. And... Um, it's, I mean, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. There's so much inspiration, you know, all the beach bars. So you were in Palma in Mallorca. That's right, that's right. And um, just got so inspired by my surroundings, I guess. Yeah. Um, and there were these little kind of fashion trucks popping up in France, and I was reading about them in America. And um, I just thought, I'm going to go for it. I'm going right. to do one too. Well, then we can see it on screen now. Oh, look at this. Is that oh, you? Oh, that's me with my pregnant belly. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. And is that, that's <laughs> in Palma. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so that's in Mallorca. It's beautiful. Wow. Just beautiful. It just looks so stunning. But then you decided to come back to New Zealand yeah. and set up one of these businesses yeah. for yourself. Because I've never seen anything like this. So you've well, got it's a, quite unique a to bus. New Zealand. Yeah. I actually set it up remotely. So I had friends looking at all these trade me buses yeah, look at that. Oh, and, um, great. checking the hype for me and all this stuff whizzing around auckland oh look there we are so you've got a bus that you take around all the festivals and, and the everything. beaches and kind of decked it out in that really balearic island style so the whitewashed floors and the white curtains in it and and it's full of clothes full of fashion full of clothes full of um like cushions we picked up in Morocco and Turkish jewellery. Wow, that sounds so unique. So much fun. So if you, you so you're based in Spain, um, yes. about to come back, but you're buying the bus in New Zealand yes. from Spain. Was that a tricky thing to do? Oh yeah, I mean yeah, <laughs> lots of drawing involved, lots of sketching and Skype calls and all the rest. Yeah. Okay, so you've got That's the bus fun. and the bus looks great. It's fun. How do you stock it? What were you looking for fashion-wise? Um, kind of that really, um, I guess that Balearic style like the really um ibiza style the what sort of styles that bohemian you know you got the girls with the long hair so the coachella the... look yeah yeah really kind of beachy you know there's a lot of tie-dye um handmade things you know crochet so this lovely. so you've just done your third summer or your third season of going around all yes. the festivals and the beaches yes how's that been going for you it's been fabulous what do people say when you rock up oh uh, well i mean they can't quite believe it because it's you know so one of a kind but um we just had so many people like where can we buy the stuff from when we're not at the fashion mm -hmm. um you know at the festivals and at the beaches so i opened a little store which you opened in takapuna so you can buy yeah. online obviously but you've opened yeah. your store in uh, takapuna on auckland's north shore as That's well right how's that gone now fantastic is it, is it different having a space as opposed to a mobile space it's fantastic yeah it's fantastic to see there it um, is there nice like the customers come who were like online customers and come into the shop and we were we're actually um, a pop-up boutique to start with, and now is that um, how you just test the waters yeah, to see if it's going to be viable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm looking for actually a bigger store because we're just outgrowing it. Really? So you're going to become an empire? Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> is there any <laughs> advice that you'd give to people if they want to start up a business like this or start doing something that they, they've dreamed oh, of for a while? I don't know. I mean, I've really just. Um, Throw myself in the deep end, I guess. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing. Just but... don't think about it, do it. Is that what you're saying? Well, don't think about I do it. I follow my passion, you know, and it's, um, I think if you're passionate about something, you, you know, you're going to well, have the drive to make it work out. The clothes look beautiful. Thank it looks you. incredible. You look Thank beautiful. You. And you've got a four month old baby. I do. And a toddler. <laughs> I don't know where you put that four month old baby because you look absolutely incredible. Oh, Bex, thank you. It's been a pleasure and best of luck. We look forward to seeing Cheers. more of you. Thank you.